Hello everybody, this is Christian Massar, the creator of the Dominions in Heaven's Armada mod, or otherwise known as DHA, as uh, described in my last video. Uh, and as promised, we have more uh, gameplay videos for you. Um, here I am uh, playing as the Wakaka Dominion, going up against the Valhata Empire. Let's see here, so I'll send these guys out and search and destroy. Uh, the Wakaka are a feline uh, humanoid race, and uh, very kind of weak defensively, but strong offensively in the, f in the way that uh, they can build lots of ships fairly quickly and cheaply. Uh, let's see here. I just had these construction ships um, uh, build resource refineries here. And I'll have this guy build a naval recruitment station. That's uh, a Wakaka station that allows me to build um, more advanced units. Can't build a shipyard yet. Uh, these guys are the Atalo class. Uh, they're kind of crappy Wakaka fighters. Basically good for scouting, but you know they can do some damage in groups. But there's a fight going on here. It looks like my guy got his ass kicked. Okay. Well, let's see here. Uh, in the last uh, gameplay videos I posted, um, I was Terran Star Union versus uh, the Taran Empire. So hopefully this time I'll hopefully this time I'll win. <laughs> uh, because it would look really bad if the mod creator didn't uh, didn't win any fights he posted online. getting yeah got destroyed there uh, what I can do is I can build some more uh, uh, Kyo Otaka classes those are uh, pretty powerful uh, well not powerful but they're Wakaka interceptors they're a lot better than the Italos so I'll send these guys out on searching destroy missions together oh kick his ass just, there's just the one. Yeah, there's another one. Work together, boys. Oh wow, clean your house. Oh man, went up against the Valtai interceptors. They're uh, kind of a no-win situation for me there. Okay, send these guys out here. Ah, good. Naval Recruitment Station. Uh, so, Tuoja Cruise. That will allow me to build uh, Tuoja class vessels. They're kind of a equivalent, well, equivalent of a bomber. Um, but, um, you know, they're very light, but they're, you know, again, bomber size. But, uh, some pretty good abilities there. Oh, yes, and before I forget, I should build a weaponry training facility. That allows me to use uh, special abilities on the ships. Walking a bomber right there. Ah, and a Sukon Queen class. That guy is a um, light to Valhata combat ship. He's heavier than anything I have yet, so I need to have the enemy there. Oh, and there's another one! No, run! Oh, the fighters are just getting blown apart. these light double top fighters are just scouting around. Oh yeah! Would you like an ass kick supreme? Okay. Oh! Fuck! Double top bomber. Ooh. Barely dented him. Okay, let's see. Ah, we have a shipyard. Okay, here are the two Tuoja class models. The Tuoja class T, which is kind of a bare bones uh, Tuoja. Then a Tuoja class L, which is a more powerful, more combat um, oriented version. Actually, what I think I'll do here, I will try to build a tactical HQ, which is which is the same as this guy. It's the Wakaka um, uh, main station. It's fairly powerful, but not as powerful as the bases of other races. Okay. <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, that's my voice giving off the statuses and stuff like that for the Wakaka side. That kind of the Jamaican accent going there. You be that It's just kind of fun to do. 
Plus, I felt, you know, I wanted to have some culturally unique, um... Uh, oh, boy! Oh, no! Move over! No! Move over here! Oh, my freighter! they can do away with this guy. I don't have the ships for this. Whew. That was close. Almost lost his freighter, too. And unfortunately, this uh, shipyard does not have a repair bay. Oh, no. How many of these things do they have? Okay, I think the best we can do is Vindicate us in your safety. Okay, I'll send this guy to the moon up here. There's less, less action. Okay. Okay, here, naval recruitment. Built some small war vessel crews that'll allow me to build the more advanced uh, block of warships. And here, I will research the R-45 missile. Uh, that is a missile that um, the Torch Class T has, the uh, the basic one, um, and it allows me to fire the a missile that explodes and then um, uh, creates a radiation cloud that destroys uh, shields of enemy units but also uh, kills their crew once the shields are down. So, um, having had that used on me by the enemy walking across sides, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Okay, and we got some Delta fighters here. I know there's a Sukon Kui over there, or at least he was. I don't want to send my guys out right there right now. Okay, R-45, let's see, oh, I can, defense propaganda, I can research that now. That gives me more advanced, uh, turrets. Okay, good. We can build two, uh, new combat ships now, the Hapina class, and the Hikakla. The Hikakla is the first, probably first good, uh, Waka warship. And the advantage that those two ships have over over these guys is these guys can only fire weapons in front of them, while the other guys have, and every other Wakata ship after that, uh, can fire weapons in 360 degrees. They can fire in any direction. Okay, I have an R-45 missile here. I'll just fire it, just to show. So anything caught within there will get heavily damaged. Or, like, they'll get some damage over time. Uh, they're quite useful against turrets, um, because even though turrets don't have crew on them to die um, in the cloud, it destroys their shields, or it eats away at them, so that helps. Ah, uh, oh yeah, let's get stealth certification. Says, um, <coughs> yeah, so that allows my smaller uh, ships to go past enemy lines, uh, increase service quota. Okay, medium turret, right there. Vindicate us in your safety. Vindicate us. So, uh, yeah, if, um, every once in a while I will be saving the game because I've been having problems with my, um, my, uh, recording. Like, it seems to crash, so I'll be saving the progress every once in a while, so that might cause a breakage in sound, so apologize for that. Uh, fire pattern certifications. So there's my, my first high cockle class. Night will be wool. So uh kinda quite like this model actually. I've had it for, for quite a few years, but I really like how it turned out. Uh, the advantage that the Hikaka class has, it's very long-range weapons. Um, and they also have uh, long-range torpedoes too, so they can actually be running away, but still deal a lot of damage as they run. Actually, let's build another resource refinery here, because I decommissioned that other one. There we go, firing their volleys.
Okay, I think I'm gonna save right now, guys, so I'll be right back. Okay. What I hope to do is perhaps build a base here so that they'll have a... Um, so I can kind of expand my territory a little bit and not have to worry so much about um, uh, being so constricted. Let's see, how much does it cost? 5300 <laughs> we'll really take out of the budget. Oh well, let's do it. Oh, we're broke! Okay. So this guy is going to go up. Set up your perimeters, people! Okay, let's see how long will this take to build. 176 seconds?! Oh boy, okay. Why, well, I shouldn't be so, so surprised. I created the mod, right? <laughs> uh, it's just... Build it instantly! Now! Do it! And so far, the Valk have not really been so aggressive. Hopefully, losing the fighters here won't send something like really big and I won't be able to deal with it. Okay, let's let's build a few Hupina classes here, actually. Um, very light ship, mo like most uh, block vessels, or it, um, but it has a useful ability. Oh, here we go. Oh no, now they send stuff. Perfect. Two fleets! Oh, this is unfair! Okay, he's dead. Oh man, that's sizable. I might have to cancel this project here. Because then otherwise I'll lose all the money I spent. Well, damn! Hope my reputation as a gamer isn't going to be further affected by another loss. Okay. Oh boy, that guy could cause me some trouble because he has some long-range uh, shockwave torpedoes that can cause a lot of damage. Um, Okay, though, so there's some mines there. If any of my units hit that, they'll, they'll be hurt. Okay, I have some of these guys here. Okay, I'll start researching abilities. Research the point defense array that destroys the incoming torpedoes. Oh, good. Looks like my base is firing at the... Oh, there's Nietzsche over here. You know what, I'm going to build another base here, but I'm going to build it closer. I'll build it right here. Okay, hurt my wallet a bit, but... Kind of need some extra defenses going on here, people. Hoping with a few more Icocla classes. Oh boy, that guy's just sitting there. Okay, those mines are still sitting there. They do dissipate after a while. They drop the these little guys. Uh, the little, little brats. But, um... They don't last forever, but... They do last a while. Okay. What the hell is Nietzsche just sitting there? I guess the somebody spiked his tea with too much rum or something like that. Okay. And 
Uh, I cocked the class. I'm rebuilding my feet up, fleet up a bit here. And actually, what I'll have another construction ship do is build. Okay, I have an Indian comrade school coming along. So what I'll do is I will build an, a heavy shipyard. Um, not only does it have a repair bay, but of course it allows me to build more advanced units. So that will help. I research a Bakasoa. So that allows me to build the Bakasoa class, which is a um, it's kind of an advanced technology a support ship that the Wakakai use. Jolted probe. That's an unmanned uh, Valhalla probe that can cloak behind and can go behind any lines and can actually self-destruct. So it's useful for going up against um, oh research facilities and you can destroy the research pods and stuff or whatever you want. Okay, this base is building here. Fifty-three seconds. Not bad. Not bad. It's a bit better than building it out in the open, I guess. Let's build another freighter, kind of increase my, uh, income. That vessel has a beautiful effect on the field. Great walk construction. Oh, I have my heavy, heavy shipyard. Yeah, what I really tried to capture with, um, DHA was a um, sense of culture for each side. You know, each side has their own, uh, graphical user interface, um, so I kind of wanted to get a little bit of a cultural feel for the Wakaka, um, in here, and also some units speak in the Wakaka language, um, you know, some of the context of the speech is, is relevant to Wakaka and stuff like that, so, like, the status updates and so on, um, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to get that sense of culture, kind of bring that forward and immersive, immersive factor. And uh, I know as a kind of a creative uh, kind of person, I really like it when uh, there's a lot of realism in like imaginary universes, um, or um, a lot of immersion anyway, kind of, uh, you know, it kind of brings you into the world. I really like that kind of thing. So that's what I tried to do in the mod. Um, there's no story in the mod here, but, um, but anyway, I tried to do that anyway. Uh, let's see. Send these guys to the boat. It looks like there's a big fleet up here. Okay, I'm just gonna save now, guys. Okay. Just finished, uh... Saving there. Oh, no! What was... What was that? Oh, man. They might have something that is able to cloak... Detect my cloak shit. Sure, hope not. Because Velta, actually, a fair amount of their units, including their main base, have the ability to cloak... Or detect cloak units. So that could be problematic, to say the least. Okay. Okay, got these guys around. Ah, Bakasua class. Oh, boy, they're expensive. Okay, well, I got my tactical HQ here, so their defenses here will be a lot, lot better. ring a bit around here. Uh, again, the, the race in this mod that has the best, by far, defensive power is, um, or the best uh, defensively is the Nataran Empire. They're, they're almost completely on the defensive. Although they have really good offensive capabilities, their bases can be very hard to attack. Okay. Let's see here, what kind of weapon? Well, let's see, foreign technologies. That, um, much of the uh, Bakasoa's most valuable, uh, abilities are actually from captured or stolen, uh, foreign tech. And there's the Bakasoa right there. So, in addition, he can also fire the R-45, uh, radiation missile, just like the, the Tuoch Class T. And uh, he has some abilities here that allow him mostly killing primarily with energy, um, and well, shield energy specifically. Uh, so they can steal shield energy from other units. They can transfer it, and they can even make um, other enemy ships uh, or allied ships rather uh, temporarily invincible. 
So, uh, yeah, he's a fairly good, fairly good support ship. Okay, so... Well, let's go out on a little bit of a expedition. Firing all kinds of torpedoes up here. Let's just see, let's see what's going on. Go over here, build some fighters. Send that vessel orders immediately. Okay, got some got a new fighter here. That vessel shall be perfect for our battle. Oh, dude. To begin use immediately. Okay. Battle has begun. Move along here. That vessel shall be briefly. Wow. Fear me. Fear me with a PF. Okay. There's a bit of a fleet there. You know what? I think I can take those guys out. I'll set these guys to turn on their point defense arrays. So then, you know, destroy any incoming torpedoes. Okay, what's around here? Looks like a bunch of fighters. Oh, there's now that's Nietzsche up there. That could cause me some trouble. Oh, a cloaked ship went right by it, so they must not have cloaked technology. Oh yeah, see? That guy's firing the torpedoes there. Oh, well, it looks like that fleet is a bit on the move towards my base. Burning up. Oh, my base is kind of giving them what for. Oh man, they came with their gun loaded this time. Well, it's like my defenses are dealing with it though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shot those cat claws. Wow. Ooh, that worked out quite well. A lot better than other attacks I've done here. Oh, that was me Chen. Die, sir! Well, of course, say it politely. Say it politely. You know what? Let me see if I can I actually build a base fury be up here. Because at the it looks like... Yeah, if I can build a base... Ooh. If I can build a base here, that would be fantastic! Now I have much much better fleet than I had last time I tried to build a base out in the open, so this should help. Oh no! There's a mine following my fighter! Oh boy, he's right. Okay, I actually saw, yeah, a Vidic class come over here. Ooh, he hit me with a shockwave beam. Very effective against uh, defenses. But it didn't help him none. Okay, move over here, peeps. I've been losing a few f few ships here, but it's mostly tuna classes, so it's not too terribly worrisome. Okay, well that, I turned off his uh, point defense array to kind of recharge his energy. I'll move you over here, kind of watch over that side. And you too. Okay, I will actually research um, some of the special abilities of the Boxua. Well, it looks like I don't want to count my eggs before they hatch, but 
hopefully they are <laughs> chickens before they hatch. Uh, but I uh, it looks like I might be on a roll in here. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to win this battle. To save my reputation. If I have my last wheel. Oh yeah, got money coming in. That's another thing that Wakaka are quite good at. Uh, Wakaka Junior is fairly rich, so um, in the game, or in the mod that's reflected in how uh, quickly they can uh, mine resources. And also, um, Wakaka Dominion also has um, conscription um, in place and so on, so there's a lot of crew that um, the, uh, has a lot of manpower. Okay, let's build some more ships. Never hurts. Watches over us and guides our claws. Despite the enemy with our lust for their blood. Looks like they're just building fighters now. That's good. It's a lot better than them coming at me with all that big stuff they had. Nikyo, congratulations on your new command. Okay. Your Kapisa, pass along this new ship order. Okay, I'm just gonna save now, guys. Okay, we're back. Okay, so I got my fleet over here. Oh, that's two Sukhan Kleeves over here. Oh, I can go kick the ass, or asses, uh, before they cause me any trouble. Uh, let me just get another uh, Hikakla up here. Okay. So now that the base is here, that'll help a lot. I'll have them go keep fires. Why not? Okay, I'll build a resource refinery over here to get a little extra moolah coming in. Oh no! Sukong Wisa pass along Okay. Nikyo, congratulations well, on your new people. You have a mission. Search. Kick your ass. Oh no! It's like my fucking sword might die. Oh no, he didn't. Wow. Well, I'll send him to repair and recruit because he got kind of, kind of killed. This is full. Died. What is it now? Get some potatoes. Beginning construction. Okay, I hope to um, to make things a little more exciting here, guys, and attack the uh, the top base. Uh, unfortunately, the wall top base is kind of kind of fancy. They have um, a lot of uh, multi-target weapons that really really would make it hard for my my dudes. But uh, I'll see what I can do here. Uh, we got a lot more ships in here. Bombers, nothing for me to worry about at the moment. Oh no, you dropped a mine and it's following my cloaked dudes. It's not right. Oh, there's the Velatop base. Yeah, that's the big guy I was talking about. It's mostly just resource refineries though, and shipyards and stuff. Oh, hmm. I have a cunning plan. Okay, let's see. Nope. Group two. <laughs> Their blood is cold in all <laughs> Since Wakaka units are so fast, oh no, oh wait, what's that? No, 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 go back. Oh, At least it's super clean over there. Yeah, I yeah, know that's, that's about it, really. Ready to do um, since Wakaka units are pretty fast and good for raiding, I might be able to take out that shipyard. Mmm, yes. Okay, that'll, that'll work. 
build another. Time is oh, there's my bucket saw is re repaired. Junka, Wisa, pass along this new ship order. I'll try and do this with uh, with lighter units. Oh. Disable their special abilities. Why are two people spinning? Right, he just got hit with an ability that disabled you his weapons. It. Actually, there's one unit here. I mean, his shields are all right, but they are a bit hurt. So I'll show off the Bakuso um, ability: shield transfer. So there we go. You can see his shields recharging there with a pretty good clip. Uh, that's actually stolen the Taran technology. Now the Natarans have a have a turret that uh, just sits there and automatically recharges the shields of some nearby friendly units. So uh, yeah, it's a very useful ability in the Wakakav. Taking it! Yoink! Okay... That one fleet is just sitting there, not doing much. Quit lazing him out! <laughs> no, just kidding. The uh, I'm telling him to sit there. I haven't given him anything else. Actually... There's some research. Actually, if I attack the shipyard here, they're well in range of my bit of that base. I'll see if I can take this guy out. And there's another. Let's see, research shield capture array. That's a Bakasoa ability that allows them to steal a shield energy from uh, from enemy units. So it's uh, yeah, that can be pretty useful. Okay, I'll have you, dude. Build the turret. Immediately. Immediately. Yes. Ready. Indeed, immediately. My crew is prepared. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna save here, guys. Ah, uh, hello, everybody. Uh, let's see here. There is. Yeah, sorry for the sudden soundtrack and sound jump. That was probably a really bad one. There the reason that is, is I had to reload the save game to start recording because my, the video recording program just completely crashed the mod. So, and it seems to be doing it around this point, so I don't know why in the world it's doing that. It's probably hardware. I, I recently, earlier this year, I had to update my software, my hardware, my computer, so new motherboard and such. So, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is, but... Um, once in a while, the mod just crashes when I'm recording. Funny thing is, the the mod itself, when it's playing by itself, it's actually quite stable. It seems to run all right. So I don't know what it is. It happens when I'm recording. But what can you do? Just save. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. Had to have had another crash, so I had to restart again. So let's. See if we can get some things going on here. So we got uh, group one here. They're holding the fort. Another group, group two. So group two is going to be raiding that section right there. Okay, I think we have enough info. Let's go. Once again, is this resource refinery? There's a Sukon Queen guarding it. There's two. A few bombers too. There's a lot of construction ships there too, so hopefully we'll be able to attack all that. They're not really building from their shipyard, which is kind of kind of interesting. I don't know why. So all the fighters are streaming along here and getting destroyed by one and the star base that's there. Base is attacking. Ooh, this hit with a missile. 
save us. Run it. Okay, pull back, guys. Oh man, his life support is down. Ooh. Boy, I lost a lot of ships, but... I lost about half of that force, but most of them were light ships, so... I think I did more damage to them than they did to me. Whew, it was intense. Okay. Phew. Okay. So be it. Okay. Yeah, good. So that Bakasola is a little banged up there, so I'll... But good. No, the Valata lost a lot of... Lost the resource refinery there and some warships, so... So that'll help me out in my cause a little bit. Won't help theirs. That's the point. Okay, um, yeah. Alright, well, let's build some replacements. Repair, my friend. Boy, I, I like how that raid turned out. Again, lost some ships, but... But again, it's all about dealing out more damage than you get. Okay. What? Well, actually, oh you're fine. So I'll have you go off. Actually, you're pretty good too. And you're good. Oh, you do have some crew missing, so I'll just transport some crew over. Uh, let's see here. Ready to build. Actually, let's just for fun, let's build a turret right here. Is cool and not moving. So here's some circuit uh, type nebulas here. Um, it's, a, it's the same nebula as in the original game, the metaphasic nebulas. Um, of course, green, and they do have the same effect. They heal ship damage and um, and things like that. But um, I decided to change the names of the nebulas. Um, I plan on having a, a gameplay manual along this mod, so it'll it'll explain what the different nebulas are and, and things like that. But the effects are the same just different names. We crave battle. Okay, group two. We crave battle. All right, we have two Bakasoas in there now. So group two is pretty B.A. B.A. Barakas, my friends. Okay, we got a turret here now. Nice. And guide our claws. Let's see if I can build another one. Nothing there. Yeah, let's build one right there. Ready for combat. So now I'm inching forward. Watch out, guys. Yeah, they're mostly just sending fighters out my way here. Nikyo, congratulations on your new command. All right. Actually, this guy, Group Three. He's a brand new group. Okay, so looks like looks like their base is pretty small. Actually, frankly, kind of sucks. Not to be arrogant or anything like that, but yeah, it's not that good. That's not that is bad. It's just that it's not good. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> fighters, keep me apprised of the situation. Scout, my friend. Oh, mostly just fighters. Boy. Yeah, I'll be scout. 
Oh, you search and destroy, buddy. Don't kill yourself. Leave that ship to blow for high walk ups, people. Okay, there's a ship assembly one, take one. There's two, actually. Actually, that might be the next target. Maybe I'll. Looks Sukon Kui is guarding it. Looks like they're kind of in scouting mode, actually. Oh no! Another mine! It hit my fighter! Stupid mines! Man, they're just kind of sitting there. Hmm. All that. Valta construction ship, it's derelict. Okay, here we go. What's going on here? Bomber. Uh -huh. Okay, it looks like the fighters are now taking a different route. Trying to get around my guys over here, perhaps. Okay, I'm closing in. Coming in. Watch out! Christmas hour is coming to call! Yeah, wouldn't that be funny? You know, I just totally get my butt kicked if I go in there with all this rah rah and I'm and he's coming to call and then suddenly boom. And you were calling what? Just for fun, I'll build a defense outpost right here. And that's a little outpost the Wakai build. It's um definitely just a much less powerful version of the uh, the main base and they can't build anything. Uh oh. What was that? Indicate us in your safety. Oh no you don't We have a new ship for the fleet. Huh. Tried to destroy that construction ship they were attempting to recapture, but don't know if it killed him. Well it killed my my guy, but Okay, I'll just save here, guys. Yeah, back once again, guys. Once, once again, I'm sorry for the sound uh, jumps and whatever, the different sound. And it's uh, had another problem with fraps crashing again, so it's uh, had to reload a previous save point. Um, yeah, if anybody has any idea of why fraps keeps cr keeps crashing my game, um, I'm running Windows Vista. That that might be the problem. Um, but, uh, yeah, if anybody has any ideas, you know, I'd appreciate it if you, um, send me a message on YouTube or whatever, I'm just not, just not sure what, uh, what the problem is, but, I mean, there are ways around it, you know, just save and record as much as you can and just come back to a save point, like a checkpoint, if, if it crashes, but, um, but yeah, it's just becoming a big pain. So, let's see here, okay just did that raid over there. Let's uh let's check it out. Let's see what's going on over here. Feel yourself with death last and fight them with the minions burning heart. Yunkawisa, pass along this new ship. Some more fighters. Got my defense outpost there. Sitting pretty perfect for us. No, sitting badass. Oh, there's a village class. Okay. So far, they can't detect. Oh no, no, a mine! Stupid mine! Pass along this new ship order. Avoid the mines, people. Even though you're cloaked, they can see you. No, no. Congratulations on your new command. Oh, those mines! They just kind of sit there and just me get back, get 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 past me. Okay. Oh, I'm curious. Did I destroy that construction ship? Is it still there? Oh no, it looks like they captured it again. Oh no, turn back! There's a mine! No! <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Actually, that shipyard could cause problems. They could start building at any moment again. Uh, and I don't want that. At least, I don't think so. Like, you guys might, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I don't! And that's what's important. At least in the mod. Build some more ships over here. Actually, I'm gonna build another shipyard here. I already 
have one light shipyard. If I can build another one, that would be perfect. Acknowledged work crew. You know what? I'm going to join up my group here. We're going to attack these. These ship, these shipyards here. Probably some guys will get definitely get killed by the by the base, but but I'll turn these guys. Point defense array on. Point defense array on. Group three, come over here and just kind of hold the fort. Send this fighter up. Hopefully there are no stupid mines. Okay, so far they're not building anything. Good, 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 good. Okay, there's some bombers here. There's a Sukon Kui up there. I think I th yeah, there was that Vidich around here too. So that'll be something. But if I have enough dudes, should be okay. This guy's point defense array is on. Holy crap! Okay guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. Leroy Jenkins! Oh yeah, blow that stuff up. Ooh, the Valentine base is really dealing out its big guns. Okay, oh yeah, dude! Destroy their research. R45, baby! R45, R45. Yes! Can you see what you can do about that base? R45, R45 missile. Oh boy. I'm losing all my dudes. Whew. I did deal deal number out to them though. Bring us about. Whether they liked it or not. Okay, I'll just save your guy. Whew. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Dealt a lot of damage to them. And their base, although it wasn't destroyed, it certainly got um, certainly got its teeth kicked in. Uh, and I have a present. Just as they... Just as I lost a bunch of ships, I had a lot of ships ready to take their place. Works out well. Okay. Fight with all your fury, be joined. I think another rush like that, and I'll probably probably get this done. And it looked like, yeah, they were just starting to rebuild a um, a shipyard that I had destroyed, so they were replacing it. But um, I am ready, ready to do battle. I am ready. All right. Good, good, good. Good job, peeps. Ready to do battle. Repair, my friends. You know, shore leave, have a good coffee break, you know, that kind of thing, and then go right back out. All right. We crave battle. This guy's doing pretty good. Hold the line! To the last! To the last what? Bottle of beer? You know? Hmm. <laughs> okay. We have another light shipyard here. You know what? I'm just going to build another heavy shipyard right here so that I have a closer... Um, uh, place where my ships can repair. That vessel Torch class L. Ready to build. 
of all these fighters. Check it out. Okay, it looks like that research refinery is still there, the one they rebuilt. Um, okay, some bombers and fighters going by here. Looks like they were using their big ships to defend their base, and they're just almost mindlessly just sending out all kinds of fight with all your oh, there's a big ship right there. There's a construction ship that's pretty bad. This Vidic is reinforcing its crew. System operations. That's their uh, that's the Valenta base. Okay, enough with that transporting sound. It's annoying. <laughs> okay, yeah, I should have probably definitely come back again. They're not, um, not building from this ship assembly. I mean, they've only replaced one. Let's see what, let's see what kind of research bots they have. This is tactical planning. Is their equivalent of um, my uh, naval recruitment station? I think they have only two pods, strike bombers and skirmish phase. Yeah, they can only build light stuff at the moment. Okay, stop transporting, dude. Probably have enough. Good. Phew! Hurts my ears! Leave that ship to blow. Oh, I walk up some good. Okay. Okay, people, get ready for a new rush. This is a walk call rush. Forget a Zerg rush. This is a walk call rush. Although, Zerg rush in its own right, pretty B.A. Okay, those guys are all repaired. All good to go. Pass along this Some quantities. Okay, yeah, all well, these guys are bottled up, man. They're, uh, they're in deep junk. Got a village over there. Lead that ship to blow. Uh, and you may notice in the mod, like, uh, some of the units kind of crowd together. Um, the reason why I did that, I mean, yeah, it looks kind of weird and whatever, but, uh, the reason why I did that was in the original game, the pathfinding of some units was not good at all. Um, it's very basic pathfinding. Certainly not what you see in Company of Heroes nowadays, which is, pathfinding is almost perfect. Um, but, um, but this is a fairly old game, so, you know, it's understandable, but the, um, you know, units would crowd together, and uh, if you had big ones, like s some some units in this mod are, are fairly big, um, you know, they would, uh, with the old collision detection and stuff like that, they would just kind of bind together and they, were, you, they would get stuck, so a lot of your micromanagement was just moving fleets around, so I just allowed units to pass through each other. Um, again, it does look weird, I do acknowledge that, but I think the benefits outweigh the, the risks and really the annoyance of it. Um, I know there are other ways around that, but uh, I just decided to do it that way. So, I'm uh, going to save again here, guys. Alright, I think it's about time I mm, take some action here. And uh, and they're building a resource refinery here. They're not... Uh, yeah, it looks like they're researching there. Okay, I'll select these guys into group 3. We have a bunch of R-45 missiles here. Okay, deal with these fighters. Ready to do battle. Group two. Okay, everybody assembled. Rotor. Okay, let's go. Everybody move. Actually, stop. First, I'll set these guys off to uh, use their point defense array. Oh, it's only one. Okay, well, never mind. Better than nothing. Into the base! Walk the car rush! Okay, 
Thank you. There's a bunch of R45. Concentrate all firepower on the base. Say it all casually. There. Base is gone. Gone, I say. Steel shields. Stealing shields from that freighter there. Okay, there's some turrets causing trouble there. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. Ooh, bunch of mines. Try that research facility. Okay, you go ahead. You go ahead, little boy. Okay. Well, it looks like that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this uh, this gameplay, and uh, hope to be adding some more soon. And uh, yeah, so stay in touch, and uh, stay tuned rather. And uh, yeah, so have fun, guys, and uh, enjoy the rest of the week. Oh, you're the charge, friend. Alrighty, that's it.